Devi Bhagavatam Book 9 Chapter 43 On the history of Swaha Narada said O Rishi Narayana O highly fortunate one O Lord thou art equal to Narayana whether in beauty or in qualities or in fame or in energy or in everything thou art equal to Narayana thou art the foremost of the gyanis there cannot be found a second like thee as a siddha yogi the ascetics and the munis and thou art the crest of the knowers of the vedas i have heard the wonderful anecdote of mahalakshmi that thou hast told me now tell me any other thing that is unknown very good in every way in accordance with dharma in the vedas and that which is not as it written in the puranas narayana said there are many wonderful hidden anecdotes that are not published as yet in the puranas what you have heard is very small in fact please mention to me what you like to hear what you think as best amongst them and i will describe that to you narada said when clarified butter is poured as libations in all the sacrificial ceremonies to the gods swaha is to be uttered everywhere in excellent everywhere as excellent and commendable so swadha is to be repeated in the offerings when the oblations are offered to the pitris the deceased ancestors then again dakshina is always to be paid as right and excellent so o knower of the vedas i like to hear the accounts of swadha and dakshina and their merits please now tell me about them suta said hearing the words of narada narayana rishi smiled and began to speak the very ancient words of the puranas Narayana said before the creation the devas assembled in the beautiful brahma's council to decide on their food question they all brought to the notice of brahma the scarcity about their food brahma promised to remove their food difficulties and began to chant hymns to hari narada said o lord bhagwan narayana himself incarnated in part as sacrifice are not the devas satisfied when the brahmanas pour oblations of ghee to the devas in those sacrifices narayana said o muni the devas in fact did not get the offerings of the clarified butters that were poured in with devotion in sacrificial acts by the brahmanas and kshatriyas so they were very much depressed and went again to the council of brahma and informed him that they could not get any food for themselves on hearing this brahma at once meditated and took refuge of sri krishna krishna advised them to worship moola prakriti brahma then by the command of sri krishna began to meditate on prakriti worship her and chant hymns to her then from the part of prakriti an all powerful devi appeared she was very beautiful shyama and very lovely this devi was swaha she looked always gracious with smile in her face it seemed that she was always ready to show favor towards the bhaktas she appeared before brahma and said o lotus born want any boon you desire hearing her words the creator spoke reverentially o devi let thou be the burning power of fire without thee fire would not be able to burn anything at the conclusion of any mantra whoever taking thy name will pour oblations in the fire to the god will cause that oblations to go to gods and reach them and then they will be very glad o mother let thou be the wealth of fire the beauty and housewife of fire let thou be incessantly worshiped in the regions of the gods and amongst men and other beings hearing these words of brahma swaha devi became very sad and expressed her own intentions i will get krishna as my husband let me perform tapasya as long as it takes this is my object all other things are false as dreams i always meditate with devotion on the lotus feet of sri krishna serving which you have become the creator of this universe shambhu has become the conqueror of death ananta deva is supporting this universe dharma is the witness of the virtues ganesha is getting first of all the first worship prakriti devi has become the adorable of all and munis and the rishis respected by all o child having spoken thus to the lotus born padma with her lotus face meditating incessantly on the lotus feet of sri krishna free from any disease started to perform tapasya for attaining him she first of all stood on one leg and practiced austerities for 1 lakh years then she saw the highest 
Purusha Sri Krishna who is beyond prakriti and her attributes. The beautiful amorous Swaha, seeing the lovely form of the Lord of Love, fainted. The omniscient Bhagavan Krishna, knowing her intention, took her to his lap, reduced very much in body by long continued tapasya, and he said, O Devi, thou shalt be my wife in the next Varaha Kalpa. Then thou will be the daughter of Nagnajit and will be known by the name of Nagnajiti. O beloved, at present let thou be the energy of fire and be his wife. By my boon thou will be worshipped by all. Fire will make thee the lady of his house and take the utmost care of thee. Thou will be able to enjoy easily with him. O Narada, thus saying to Swaha, Bhagavan disappeared. On the other hand, fire came in there by the command of Brahma with a doubtful mind and began to meditate on her. The world mother as per Samaveda and worshipped her. He then pleased and married her with mantrams, etc. For one hundred divine years, they enjoyed each other in a very solitary place. While they were enjoying each other, Swaha Devi felt pregnant. Full uh, twelve for full twelve divine years, she retained her pregnancy. Then she delivered gradually three sons, Dakshinagni, Garahyapatyagni, and Ahavaniyagni. The Rishis, Munis, Brahmana, Kshatriyas, four oblations of clarified butter, pronouncing the terminal mantra Swaha. He who pronounces this excellent terminal mantra Swaha gets immediate success in his actions. Then all the mantras without Swaha in the end became important as snakes become when void of poison. The Brahmanas, when they are devoid of the knowledge of the Vedas, the wife, when she does not serve her husband, the men, when they turn illiterate, and the trees, when void of fruits and branches, O child, the Brahmanas then become satisfied. The Devas began to receive the oblations. With the Swaha mantra, everything turned out fruitful. Thus, I have described to you the anecdote of Swaha. One who hears this essential anecdote gets his happiness enhanced and the moksha in his hands. What more do you want to hear say? Narada said, I like to hear how fire worshipped Swaha and recited stotrams, hymns of praise to her. Kindly tell me the method of worship, the dhyanam and stotram. Narayana said, O best of Brahmanas, I now tell you the meditation as per Samaveda, the method of worship and stotra, listen attentively. At the commencement of any sacrificial ceremony, one should first of all worship whether on the saligrama stone or in the earthen jar ghata, the Devi Swaha, and then commence the ceremony with the expectation of getting the desired fruit. The following is the dhyanam meditation of Swaha Devi. O Devi Swaha, thou art embodied of the mantras, thou art the success of the mantras, thou art thyself a siddha, thou, give, thou givest success and the fruit, fruits of actions to men, you do good to all. Thus meditating one should offer padya, padya, water for washing the feet etc. Uttering the basic mantra, success then comes to him. Now hear about the radical seed mantra, the seed Mantra, that is Mula Mantra, is this Om Hrim Shrim Vahni Jayaye Devyay Swaha. I repeat Om Hrim Shrim Vahni Jayaye Devyay Swaha. If the Devi be worshipped with this mantra, all the desires come to a successful issue. Fire recited the following stotra Thou art Swaha, thou art the beloved of fire, thou art the wife of fire. Thou pleasest all, thou art the Shakti, thou art the action, thou art the bestower of Kala, thou art, thou dost digest the food, thou art the Dhruva, thou art the resort of men, thou art the burning power, thou can burn everything, you are the essence of this world, you are the deliverer from the terrible world, you are the life of the gods and you nourish the gods. O Narada, he who reads with devotion these sixteen names gets success both in this world as well as in the next. None of this, none of his works become deficient in any way. Rather, all the works are performed successfully 
एंड विथ ए सक्सेसफुल इश्यू रीडिंग दिस स्तोत्रा वन हु हैज़ नो वाइफ गेट्स वाइफ सो मच सो दैट द मैन हु रिसाइड्स द स्तोत्रा गेट्स फॉर हिज वाइफ इक्वल टू रंभा द हेवनली निम्फ एंड पासिस हिज टाइम इन ग्रेटेस्ट ब्लिस हियर एंड्स द फोर्टी थर्ड चैप्टर ऑफ द नाइन्थ बुक ऑन द हिस्टरी ऑफ स्वाहा इन श्रीमद देवी भागवतम द महापुराणम ऑफ एटीन थाउजेंड वर्सेस बाय महर्षि वेद व्यासा श्रीमात्रे नमः